This year was, was special, I think. Almost every stage we went flat out from the start, like it would be a cross-country race. I'm not a marathon racer, don't have that much experience in it. I was watching at my power during the race and uh, I was thinking, we are going so hard. <laughs> and my legs were hurting, but uh, I didn't know what to think about it. So I knew I can ride five hours with, uh, without the problem, but uh, how fast can I do it? How fit I am? He's such a young uh, rider still, just 25 years old, um, first epic. We worked really as a team together. We are also really equal riders and similar riders. So we exactly knew if I'm suffering, he's probably also suffering. And so we could really push us, each other to, to the limit. So as Lars is brand new on the team, it was a kind of an unknown for him on one side, because he has never done the Cape Epic, and for us as well, to uh, actually work with him at the race. It was a, a great test, they jump in the cold water for him. We can't ask for more, you know, having such a success. And uh, yeah, together they really uh, looked good out there. Not just uh, performance-wise, but also looked good as a team. After the first stage, I, I was uh, pretty happy about my marathon. <laughs> so I was looking forward for the next stage. And after the stage one, we knew we are the strongest. We could control the race and uh, we did it. We had a flat tire, I was just thinking, why, why me? <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, we just began uh, to try to fix it. We were pretty slow in that. <laughs> and then, uh, luckily, the DSP team gave us a, a spare wheel. I think you can't win without the backup team or the past years, no team won without any support. Mechanicals just happen and uh, you need to have a good backup team to to help you out maybe with a mechanical. I think uh, Scott's Ram is well known as uh, probably that team that puts the most effort in uh, making sure we have the best equipment out there, especially with our mechanics, uh, with Yannick and Cord. They run through rivers and directly in a, a sand uh, pit and that's the worst case for, for all the parts, for the chain, for the brakes. It's super crazy how, how the material uh, gets worse. It's like you sandpaper the whole bike. That's uh, one of the hardest and toughest uh, thing at the Cape Epic to maintain the whole bike. Everything needs to come together to, to compete on the highest level, especially like a Cape Epic. It's eight days. You are a team of two, that means you have two bikes. Two people need to stay healthy over the whole, whole time. It requires much more than a cross-country race. It's a tough, a tough race for everybody. As this is a team event, uh, without the backup team, they would have won. And uh, I think also the mechanics, the chef, the physios, they must feel as a very important part of the whole, and they really are. And uh, I think uh, once you get that, together that everybody's working at his best uh, to give his best not just the, the athletes themselves then i think we have that vibe it takes to actually win such a big thing olympic champion multiple world champion from switzerland this flat tire uh... We had about nine minutes a time gap to Cannondale. From this moment, it was uh, pretty insane. Especially Nino put it out so much power, and so we were just more motivated to push harder. After my two crashes on Friday, 
things get a little bit worse for me. I was feeling a little bit cracked, always in back, turning around. It wasn't, it wasn't perfect anymore. It's hard racing, everybody is on the limit and the one that can hold on then a little bit longer, he will uh, succeed and be the winner at the end. Massive, massive job done by Nina Schurter and Lars Foster. Then on Sunday, I was thinking in the morning, yeah, last day, we can push again, but then the race started and... It was also quite a hectic last stage, it was like a fast start and then Lars didn't have his best day, we had to, to fight hard, um, yeah, not to lose time. Oh, I had a hard day then, <laughs> really hard day. I was thinking I pushed very hard, but the all riders were overtaking and I was thinking, no, why? Into the finish line, uh, that was incredible, yeah, the atmosphere. It was like, whoa, and then, uh, yeah, just happy feeling. Also the stuff coming around, champagne shower and everything, it was, uh, it was really amazing. But for sure, it's, it's a release, like, you get to the finish now, you made it, you, you got through this last stage with any, with any mechanicals, no crashes. What's pretty cool in this race, like the whole team is coming to the finish line and you can celebrate as a team also this, this victory. And now your overall winners.